rest the weight of her leg on my shoulder. I'm going to get one hand really underneath the pelvis this time to stabilize it. Okay, so my hand is all the way under her ilium close to the sacrum. Okay. And I want you to try to bring your knee to your nose. There you go. And relax. Okay, so force hand, stabilizing hand on the pelvis. Really getting underneath there. Okay, so that was coxal flexion. Keep the knees bent. Bring it back a little bit, and we're going to straighten this leg out. And I'd like you to... Oh, I forgot to do my three out of five check on flexion. So I would have her supine and just say, knee to nose, bring it back down. Okay, so this time I just want you to lift this leg straight up towards the ceiling. Good, and bring it back down. Very nice. Okay, so this time my stabilizing hand is still going to be on the pelvis. I'm going to find the iliac crest, hook on it, push down towards her feet, caudally, and then down towards the ground. So I'm going... And I'm going to take her leg, bring it up part of the way, say, okay, can you hold there? And don't let me move you. Let me get a nice little pop. And <laughs> okay, so not quite a sandwich this time. That's because we're sandwiching her to the table. So that's how we're stabilizing her. But we're still stabilizing the joint that's just superior to the joint that we're testing. And we're not crossing the knee when we apply the resistance. Okay, now adduction is honestly not done very often. Um, this is how we're gonna do it. It might be a little slippery. I'm gonna take your heel off. Bend your knee. If the patient can get in this position, that's where you're putting them. Straighten this leg. And just bring it up in the air. Good, and relax. Same stabilization. Bring it up, hold right there. Hold it, and don't let me move you. Same thing. Oh, no. Stabilization as when we were doing flexion, so still hooking around and under, similar to goniometry. And just lift your leg straight up in the air. Good, and relax. Here, lift her up just part of the way. Hold right there. Don't let me move you. Okay, so this time I am sandwiching this way. Okay, and that's just pure hip extension. I'm not going to do this on the test, but just FYI, if you wanted to isolate the glutes, come here, lift your heel to the ceiling. Good, and relax. Hold right there. Oh, oh and she's nice and strong. Usually <laughs> the glutes are weaker than their hamstring. Okay, so we're just going to do the straight leg one, but just FYI, that's how you'd isolate the glutes. Where was your stabilizing hand? Just Hooked around the pelvis. Okay. So we're doing that. Okay. I mean, this stays still, but. So that one's a true sandwich. Um, the ab and abduction is not 